Our next step is actually going to just be to find the dip and the dip direction. We know that this is 800 and this is 650. What we're going to do is drop a line parallel to our strike line that is going to represent um, a triangle coming into or com going into the page or coming out of the page that is between B and our strike. And so we know that dip is always perpendicular to strike. So what we're going to do is set up our here I'm using my protractor to do it and basically making sure that this my protractor is set up exactly perpendicular to this line and going through B. So this line is my line of dip because it's perpendicular to strike and I'm going here. I'm going to name this point F. And so I'm going to go this in this case there's a triangle going into the page where the elevation of F is the same as the elevation of C 800 meters here. And then the elevation of B is 650 meters and the distance between these two using the distance between these two we can find our dip because just using trigonometry seeing that if we know the if we know the difference you know in y and the difference in x then we know two sides of a right triangle we can use the tangent and then we know that um, the, the tangent of this triangle is going to be the same as our dip and the tangent of a triangle going into the page. Our plane is like this. So um, this is the equation that we will then use. Um, we will say that the tangent of delta of our dip equals the F elevation, which is 800 meters minus B elevation, which is 650 meters, divided by the distance between F and B. And so this is a case where we also need to use, find graphically the distance, but in this case we need it to be meters. We need our meters to cancel out here. So we can't leave it in inches because now we're thinking about real world stuff. Oh, that is so sweet. So we have exactly two inches between, um, we have exactly two inches between B and F, right? So if we have exactly two inches, that means we have exactly 100 meters between B and F. The distance from B to F equals two inches equals 100 meters. Lovely. So in this case, we're going to end up with um, 150 meters divided by 100 meters. Our meters are going to cross out, and this will equal 1.5. So the tangent of delta equals 1.5. So to find delta, we need to use the inverse tangent, or arctan. So tangent of 1.5 equals and here's where we can use our calculator. Make sure your calculator is set to um, is set to degrees. So you need it. Make sure it's set to degrees. Good. Um, okay. And um, so we're gonna do inverse tangent of 1.5 equals 56. Point three degrees. There is no way my uh, graph is precise enough to know <laughs> that it's exactly 56.3 degrees. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that it's our my dip equals 56 degrees, and I know that it's dipping to the north east, right? It's dipping from F to B to the northeast at 56 degrees. So now, now that I know that my dip is like this, my strike is like this, I'm going to go ahead and and find that and find that um, orientation of the strike. 
and so I'll use my my protractor here to know that so what we need to do is use the right hand rule um, because we have two strike directions right this could be it can be striking over here to the northwest or down here to the southeast and so we use the right hand rule we put our hand on um, on the plane as it's dipping and our thumb points in the direction of the number that we want to use of the strike that we want to use so we want to use this north um, this northwest strike direction so in that case if we can line up we can line up the um, our protractor on any of these horizontal lines right our our as as long as our our protractor is uh, vertical lines excuse me we can line up the protractor along any of these vertical lines and we know that as long as we stay on the line our our angle is going to be the same so I'm just going to go ahead and use this line over here. I'm lining this up. So I'm completely straight here, right, north-south. And then I'm going to use this scale in here and see how many degrees I am from 360 since I'm up in this northwest quadrant. So I am 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 74 degrees from 360 so 360 degrees minus 74 degrees 56, 58. so I am at 286 degrees and that is my strike so I need to just write out here my final answer. So the attitude, using the right hand rule, is 286 degrees and 56 degrees to the northeast. And that's it. Thank you very much for your time and have a lovely day.